Hi folks, today I want to talk a little bit about 3D printing and uh, post uh, assembly steps for the 3D printer. Now I'm new at 3D printing and CNC technologies, so I decided to uh, buy a printer in a kit, so I need to assemble myself. This way I get to know the details about this whole technology. After assembling the printer you will end up with something similar like this. I have some extensions here. So this is a Fusa i3 printer with a Mandel firmware installed on the controller. I have this nice control unit here. You need to do some steps before starting your first print. First of all we need to get sure if the stepper motors are connected in the right direction. After then we need to level the bed. Afterwards we need to have some calibration. First of all you need to understand that we have three axes here. The X axis is this direction, the Y axis is this direction and the Z axis is the up and down. So this is the X, the Y and the Z I cannot move this because it's in the strategy drawings. And uh, the second thing you need to understand is that here we have end stop switches. One, two, three. So this is the X end stop switch, this is the Y end stop switch, and this is the Z X end stop switch. If you have another model, you probably have the end stop switches anywhere else in your printer. So, of course, you can uh, connect your uh, printer to your PC and control it with printer controller, but for the video purpose I will use this small unit here, with which I can control the, the motors. So I go into the move axis menu, I say move 1 millimeter. First I, I will try to move the X axis. And you will notice that in this firmware I cannot go to the negative direction, so I cannot move the motor the negative way. But in the positive way you can see that the, it goes into that direction and you have to be sure that when, when you say go to the, to, if you go down, it will go in the direction of the dance stop switch. The same with the Y axis, you go down, you go against the stop switch. When you go up, you will be further from the stop switch, and if you go down, you will go closer to the stop switch. The same with the Z axis, when I go up, I counter, it will go uh, away from the, uh, the stop switch, and if I go down, and we go closer to the end of switch. And you see that your motor goes in the wrong direction, so when you go to the positive direction, the motor will go uh, closer to the end of switch. That is wrong. You need to plug your connector from the main board and uh, plug it in another way. So you have to switch the priority of your stepper motors. You need to do the same with the with the extruder, but you need to uh, preheat the nozzle before it start extruding. When you are sure that your motors are running in the right direction, you need to adjust the stop switches so that uh, the stop switch need to be heat before other parts are heat in the in the case. You can do this in the x-axis because you can move in the in the, the x-axis. You can see, you can hear the click of the stop switch. You will see this is about the right position. The same with the y-axis. We try to push in the right direction and see if nothing is hit before the stop switch. You need to adjust the stop switch to the right position. You can adjust it later on. So now you see that the X and the Y axis is about okay to hit the stop switch. Then you can go and do a 
uh, auto home function that we move the the head in the zero, zero position. And this is done by finding the end stop switches. Now when you move the z, z axis for the first time you probably are afraid to hit the glass before uh, finding the end stop switch so you probably you have to be prepared and uh, push the end stop switch with your hand to be sure that you don't want to mess up your glass. If I push the end stop switch then the motor will stop. <coughs> this way you can get closer and closer to the right position and again set out the home and you will see that we are about in the right position and uh, my install switch is about in the in the right place so what I need to do well we can do again and stop so it's not completely in the right place but I see that this gap is, is about okay now and you will adjust it with this screw afterwards everything is seems to be okay in my case it's already prepared so when I see it home and it will hit the glass it won't hit the glass from the z-axis motors you have two of them so you need to be sure that these are in the same level so what you, you need to do let's say disable steppers and you have to measure the distance between the motor and some part and this so it needs to be in the, in the same uh, distance if it's not the case you can start turning one of the rods but take care because when you try to turn one probably the other one will also turn because they are connected together and the turn of one will force to turn the other one because of the electricity so be sure that the the other one will not turn and just the, this one will turn. The setup to have the same distance as the other. After this is done, you can level the bed. Leveling the bed is kind of easy, but it needs some work. When I bring a piece of paper, it will barely fit under the nozzle. And if I move the nozzle around, it will be the same in, the, in all the corners. So you need to adjust the screws to have the same uh, distance from the nozzle all the way around. After leveling the bed, you may start your first print, but to have an accurate print, to have an accurate copy of your design, you have to calibrate your printer. What I do is that I make a mark with a sharpie in one of the rods and then move the axis, let's say, some kind of millimeters. Make another mark with the sharpie and then measure the distance between the two marks and if it doesn't match with, with the millimeters I set when I uh, move the axis, then I have to adjust the firmware configuration. Magic. Of course you need to do the calibration for all the three axes, so the X, Y and Z axis and those few you need to do it for the extruder. Uh, I recommend you to use a, a lighter color for this. What you need to do is make a marking point with the sharpie somewhere and measure the distance and say extrude some millimeters and again measure it again and find the difference between the two measurements and it needs to be the same millimeters as that you have extruded from your controller.
you may see details about the calibration in your documentation of your product. Now you may want to repeat the calibration procedure sometimes to verify your calculations. You might see that even though you have a well calibrated printer, your printed object tends to be not so precise. This is because of two reasons. One is that your printer is, is not that accurate. And the second thing is that, that the plastic you are working with has a physical characteristics that uh, when it cools down it, it will shrink. So you can do two things. You can change the calibration of your printer to uh, adjust it to the printed part or you might print your part some percent bigger. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Happy printing. Bye bye. material you are working with this plastic has a physical characteristic physical characteristic physical characteristic character that the plastic you are working with has a physical characteristics